Hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Jungle Simulator and we're here with Hinto and Yala again and they've actually got um quite a bit of company inside of their den today so food has kind of come to us not only in the form of this piranha that is chasing Nyala excuse you piranha okay let's wrestle him all right we got him but there's also a hippo and a sloth inside of our den who we are probably about to go over there and eat because Nyala is only a few minutes away from having her tiger cub we're gonna have a tiger cub you guys and uh, it's only gonna be one cub because that's all the room that we have to let more creatures into our family for now oh my gosh the sloth is wrestling me no grab him okay we've got the sloth <laughs> we have got the sloth and we have had we have a hippo i kind of want to leave the hippo inside of our den and just let him be with the family for a little while because if you uh have to fight a hippo you're probably going to end up on the wrong side of things, but this is hilarious. We have a, like a hippo midwife who is going to be here for the birth of our baby tiger cub. And normally the female Niala in this case would actually go off on her own and she would have, she's still so jumpy when we snuggle her, it's hilarious. She would have her own space. The male tiger would not be involved in helping to raise the cubs, but we'll make a special exception for these two because I really like them and I think they will have some wonderful stories to tell us together. All right, and speaking of wonderful stories, let's see if we can find more food because that would be really awesome. Not the hippo. I'm just going to leave the midwife hippo where it belongs inside of our den and maybe we can find some food. Oh my goodness. There's so much food here. Let's do it, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, there's a monkey. There's just free food right here. There's a monkey and a tiger who have done battle. This is so cool. We're just going to go ahead and kind of feast on what's available. But when we go back, Niala will be having her one tiger cub. We have talked about this in the past. You amazing pixobiologists have done quite a bit of research. And you know, normally anywhere from one to three tiger cubs it tends to be the more common number of cubs that she would have. All right, and the chimps are definitely going to fight in a group to defend one another. It looks like they fought a tiger earlier, and then I just come in. Hinto is the best tiger, and I just come in and eat all of them anyway. So normally, Nyala would be having up to uh, even three tiger cubs, and she would be the only one responsible of taking care of them for two years. And tiger cubs actually learn a lot from their mother in how to hunt. With some species, you are born with innate skills that tell you how to look for your food. We can't kill the panda, because he's, he's unfortunately written as an untouchable within the uh, temple writings that Nyala lives up to. But some species, like chickens, that peck on the ground as soon as they hatch out of their egg, searching and searching and searching for edible things, whatever edible thing they can pick up with their tiny little beaks, they are born with innate skills to help them learn how to do their hunting and how to find food. And other species, like chimps, for instance, or tigers, have some innate behaviors, but will also learn a lot from their parent. And tigers are really cool because the tiger cubs, kind of like cheetah cubs and lion cubs too, will have hide somewhere and watch mom with the hunting. Dang it, panda! I'm really hungry and now all these pandas are just showing up and we can't eat them. Uh, maybe over here will be food. Looks like we're about to stumble on something. Pretty appetizing if the map is to be believed. Da -na -na -na, food, food. Somewhere nearby is there food? What? It all just disappeared! Not fair. Alright, let's go this way. Nyala's gonna have her, her cub any moment now and we need to get back to the den when that happens. In fact, can we, like, zip back to the den? No, unfortunately not. But that's how the tiger cubs will learn, is they'll actually hide inside of the bushes and then leap out. And they will, um, you know, kind of blow some of the, the hunting things now and then, too. They'll just completely ruin it. I've seen so many documentaries where, oh, it's a giraffe! Where the little cheetah cubs will have gone with mom to learn how to hunt some of the gazelle or something like that. And then they'll burst out of the bushes and just completely destroy the chance of being able to make the hunt. And tiger cubs do that, too. They're kind of bumbly. They're kind of awkward. They ruin some of the hunts until they finally learn through hunger and their mom being very insistent how to move their paws properly so they don't step on branches, how to hide in the shadows so that it best accentuates all of their stripes and allows them to remain camouflaged until the final moment where we will leap forward and make the kill and eat. Sorry, Flamingo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I really love flamingos, but I'm really hungry too. 
All right, got our food. About face. Niala, you're about to have your, like, baby. Any second now. Is it going to be born back at the den? Because if so, we need to, like, start moving back to the den ASAP. We'll have to see how our little tiger cub is. It'll be really cool if somehow I am able to have a lemur baby born playing as our lemur soon. Niala, you're so jumpy. She's so silly. All right, we might want to start running back towards the den just in case she is indeed only going to have the baby over there. And it is getting a little bit late. There's the giraffe running up the cliffside. I can't hunt giraffe. Giraffe and pandas, I just can't bring myself to hunt. There's the vines being super spooky. I guess we're not near the water, so we don't ne really need to worry about anaconda. Hmm. Oh, man, guys. Is it going to be a white tiger cub? Or is it going to look like Hinto? Is it going to look like Niala? Is it going to be a boy? Is it going to be a girl? What name is it going to be born with? This is going to be so exciting. Hinto and Niala have really become quite the power couple. I've enjoyed watching them sort of discover and dominate the jungle. And now it's going to be fun to see what their children are going to be like. There's some food. Here comes the baby. Oh my goodness. Oh, the birth. We can have the birth. Okay. Let's get this last little bit of food so that Niala has... She seems to be hungry still. And then we are going to zip back over to the den. We'll work our way back over to the den and we'll give birth to the little baby tiger cub. Where's the food? There was just food like right here. This is so frustrating. Oh, but it's hiding. Did you see it try to use that camouflage? That was really cool. Hiding and remaining motionless down in the bushes like a little baby deer. All right. Oh, we just unlocked an achievement. What? That's so cool. All right. There we go. Hinto is going to be a very strong, protective father, I think. And we're going to run him back over to the family den, which should be... The new one is up this direction. So we'll go this way. And once we get there, back to our hippo midwife... Then we'll go ahead and give birth. But I think if we give birth right now, we'll be super far away from the den. And I don't want to be far away from the den when the baby is born. That's the opposite of what we want. All right. And then the den is just this direction a little. It'd be nice if you could, like, press a button and it could help angle you towards your home. All right. We'll go down here. Search out for any food along the way. And I'm very happy that these two are finally going to have their baby. It's been a long time in coming. It has been hard to work this hard to become a strong tiger. There's just not quite as much food as you would think to feed a couple hungry tigers in this jungle. Every now and then we'll run across like a troop of chimpanzees or somebody who provides a bit of food like a nice elephant. But otherwise it's kind of tricky. All right, here we are. We'll have to see if our hippo midwife is still here. Let's get a little drink really quickly. There we go. Just about to run out of water and become dehydrated. And then late at night, in the jungle, with the sound of the parrots and crickets and frogs and the monkeys chirping in the distance, we are going to welcome into Hinto and Niala's family their very first tiger cub. <gasps> Niala! In the water, even! Okay! A baby! Niala! Oh, look at him! <gasps> Niala! Oh, and the, the hippo midwife is still here. That's hilarious. Is it a boy or a girl? fight freckles <laughs> but we have stripes you can't you can't change your stripes to spots i'm sorry little one that's just not the way it works that's not the way it works and niala seems very concerned about the hippo all of a sudden all right we can go ahead and snuggle let's snuggle with freckles because we're so close to leveling up all right we'll praise freckles we'll have to give freckles a new name don't go near the hippo freckles <laughs> freckles why niala you two need to stay out of the water for just a second. Don't trust the hippo. All right, almost there. We'll feed them again. I just want to level up and then we'll make it night. All right, we'll make it day so I can see what the heck we're doing. And then once we do that, Niala, she's so hilarious how she just leaps away when she wants to snuggle. And there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and sleep. And we're going to check out Freckles and see what our very first tiger cub baby looks like and, and all of the things about their personality. Oh, look at the little one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Congratulations, Hinto. You are now a father. You, you have little Freckles. Oh, look at him go. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's going to get all the things. Look at him. He's going to be a good little hunter. 
You can already tell he's ready to go. Look at him! So cute! And Hinto and Niala are just running around in the distance. All right, well, I've been calling him a him, but let's see. So Freckles is... Okay, we'll have to see if it changes size. Yep, Freckles is a boy! All right, so we have a male tiger, and he looks a lot like Hinto, and we're going to have to come up with a new name for little Freckles. And I think Hinto is going to need to do a little bit of hunting to be able to raise Freckles up to level 5 as quickly as possible, just to make sure that he stays nice and healthy. So we're going to have Niala and Freckles stay home. And we're going to see if we can go out and get more food for them to enjoy and drag it back to the den. But I think this is going to be a really great place for Niala and Hinto to focus on raising their child. And it's going to take a long time. Again, he is a male tiger. So normally we wouldn't stick around. and It would be up to Niala completely to take care of their little ones. But we're going to go ahead and just say that he's going to help out. Yes, Nanaconda! I actually really wanted to eat another danger noodle before we go. Good. All right, let's go ahead and eat it. We'll become the strongest tiger in the entire jungle and be able to bring back food to our little one. Can't bring back this carcass, so hmm. All right, I'll eat the carcass really quickly and then we'll take back the danger noodle, the, the extra large danger, danger noodle serving and we will give it to, okay, no, don't eat it, don't eat it. All right, come on, there we go. And we'll give it to our little baby. Beautiful, just absolutely glorious. And then we will see how life with the lemurs is going to go down. And eventually we will rotate back over and see how Niala and Hinto and Freckles have been doing. So let's run over. We're going to give Freckles their very first meal. Look at Niala. Ah, we're being raided by lions. No, lions have come. Lions have come to invade my den with my baby. This is not- Oh my gosh, it's a whole pack. A whole pride of lions are going to attack where my child is. This is not cool. All right. Niala! Niala! Freckles! Stay safe! Dad's got this! Oh my gosh! So much aggression! So much fighting! So much danger! Oh my gosh! I can't move. I'm tripping over the body of one lion. Oh, there we go. Having to fight another one. Freckles, you are about to have the biggest meal of a newborn tiger cub ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then we'll have to get the lioness before she can go and get the rest of the pride. You think you can just escape after all that nonsense? I don't think so. You guys don't even belong over here. Get back over to the savannah where you belong. The, unfortunately, the, t the lions of the jungle have been extinct for quite a while. All right, ah, there we go. All right, and we're gonna grab you. And okay, now we're gonna switch over to Freckles. <laughs> and little baby Freckles, oh, my danger noodle disappeared, why? Is going to have a huge meal. <laughs> there you go, Freckles. And the sooner we get Freckles up to higher levels, the safer the little baby is going to be. And dad shoved us away from that delicious meal, but oh my gosh. All right, well, that was pretty exciting. Oh. Having an entire pride of lions end up raiding my den while we have our little baby. Excuse them. All right, let's go ahead and nibble this. Here we go. A little bit more. No, mom. No, dad. I mean, Hinto. For crying out loud, Hinto. Like, don't be rude. Seriously, you're getting in the way of my food. All right, now Hinto has calmed down. There we go. And there you go, Freckles. All right, let's go see if there's the danger noodle, but I think it disappeared. And what a day for a tiny little tiger cub to enjoy. I think that he had plenty to eat and that is going to be a very full meal. And what a life this little guy has already managed to start having. I'm pretty impressed. I think that he is with the right mother and father. There he goes. And eventually he's going to become quite the king of the jungle on his own. And I may come back one day and we'll see what Freckles does and we'll give him a little name. But for now, I definitely want to go and check in on our lemurs again. So I'm very excited to share some awesome lemur facts. I did, after all, go to the Duke Lemur Research Center last summer. And we had a really fantastic time being able to uh, look up those adventures. I still have those vlogs up if you guys ever want to check them out because it was really cool to see the lemurs in person. And 
And we also saw the lemurs at the Kansas City Zoo, now that I think about it. So we've seen a lot of lemurs in the last year, uh, up close and personal. And I really just, I love watching them, how they interact, their fingers, everything about them. So we're going to switch from tigers and our awesome, powerful, increasingly strong tiger family over to the lemurs. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.